Hi everybody. I've done a bunch of videos on using purple toners on your hair, glosser toners, temporary hair color spray. So today I've decided to take the plunge. I'm going to do actually something that it's considered a cream toner, but you do use a developer in it. I'm going to use the Ion Color Brilliance. This is the tubing. I bought it from Sally and I'm going to use a 10 sensitive. This actually says that it is a uh, for the bright white cream developer for this product. The color I'm using is called Snow Cap. It's number 128. And the reason I chose this color after talking to a representative at Sally was because I won't get I hopefully won't get a line of any kind of demarcation on my scalp. I wanted to blend my grays. So let's get started. I'm using the entire tube of the cream toner. This is how it came out of the tubing. So you can see it's not purple. And I'm going to add half a bottle of this. This is a four ounce bottle. It needs two ounces. This tubing was two ounces. It's a one to one ratio. So I'm just going to shake this and basically eyeball what a half would be out of this container and I think that should be enough. Again, I'm doing it in a plastic bowl and I'm going to mix it with a plastic spoon. You don't want to use metal products on hair coloring um, ingredients. Just use plastic products. Maybe I need just a touch more of the developer. You can measure it out if you're unsure. I've done hair color so much over my lifetime that I'm not really concerned about it. And you use 10 developer instead of 20. Uh, 20 would open up the cuticle a lot more than 10. So that's just something to keep in mind. So it looks like it's matte. It's uh, it's all mixed together, and this was a cream toner, not a liquid toner, so it is a little thicker. Now I'm going to get my rubber gloves on and start putting it on my head. I use the entire amount that I mixed up, which was the one full tube and the two ounces of developer, and I just used my black rubber gloves. And for me, the easiest way was since I have such little hair and so much a product, I just put it on my hands and I actually just almost like washed my hair with it. Um, I can take a comb and comb it through um, if I want, but it says to leave it on for 15 minutes. So that's what I'm going to do. Again, this is done on dry hair that is clean, has no product in it. And I'm going to wait 15 minutes and then wash it out. Well, I'm in the shower. I'm ready to rinse it out of my hair. I'm going to use my rubber gloves. I'm going to work it into a lather and rinse it out thoroughly. Well, I'm out of the shower. I've wrapped my hair in a turban. I'm letting it dry a little bit. And you and me can see what it looks like now, but it's still wet. I don't know what I see. I don't know if it looks actually a little darker. I'm going to have to just dry it and then show you the full end results of what this actually did to my hair. I'm going to now dry my hair. This is what the towel that I was wearing around my neck looked like. And it's very dark. So I did notice that if I go like this, my hair actually looks like darker like almost like a brownish color which is unusual because when you think of something being called snow cap and the color swatch of hair shows white um again it was probably only going to tone white on my hair i'm not really sure how this product is supposed to work 
um, but I'm going to dry it out. Actually, if it's a little bit more brown as opposed to a gray, that would probably be a positive for me. So it would make me look a little bit younger than having full blown uh, gray hair, salt and pepperish. So let me dry it and I'll show you what it looks like when I have it completely dry. Here are the before and after pictures of my hair. As you can see on the left, my hair had a silvery gray base with a lot of white striations throughout, and I don't feel it complemented my skin tone that well. On the right, my hair is now a uniform ashy gray tone, and I really like that it removed a lot of the white striations throughout. I feel it complements my skin tone a lot better. Here is what my hair looks like now that it is completely dry. And that's the back and the sides. And I like the fact that it evened out the color toning in my hair. I don't have as much white anymore because the toner covered it over with a little bit of the gray. As you see toner sitting on your hair, you might notice that it is turning your hair gray, but for me, that's a good thing. For a blonde person, it probably is not a good thing. I left it on 15 minutes. If you were really white and you don't want it to be gray, you better time it carefully because it could be anywhere from a couple of minutes to 15 minutes, depending on what your hair color is at and the porosity of your hair. There's a whole bunch of factors. So they do recommend a, a strand test if you're unsure. I know a lot of women out there don't like gray. They think it makes them look old. And if that's not for you, absolutely don't do it. Um, to me, gray is just another color. And if you don't like salt and pepper, this could be a way to get rid of that salt and pepper effect. If you don't like a lot of white in your hair, this could be a way of getting rid of the white in your hair because these this toner will put more of a gray or a silver um, into the white areas of your hair. So keep that in mind. I'm happy overall with the way it came out. I like that it's permanent. I don't have to do anything to my hair as frequently um, to maybe keep it looking a little bit more uniform or the way I would like it to look. And if I do want to have a little bit of extra highlighting, I can always use one of those temporary hairsprays. So for, the, for me, again, this works perfectly. And for the cost and time frame, it was not a big commitment. Just remember, this was a permanent toner. So it will not wash out if you don't like it. So if you like this video, give it a like, a share, a thumbs up, and a subscribe. And I'll see you next time on Big City Girl, Small City Lip.